Hey everyone, I hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, my name is Seppi, and today I have such a fun vlog for you guys. I am going to be going to my clinic with Sol. Sol is my sister, and if you guys don't know, we have an aesthetic clinic together. I'm a doctor, Sol is a dentist, and we are both trained in medical aesthetics. Um, and we have set up our own clinic. We set it up back in November, so just before lockdown. Um, and this is our first clinic day back since the lockdown has been lifted. We're so excited to have all of our clients back and just to be back working in that environment. I love working in aesthetics. I think it's so rewarding. You get to see the fruits of your labor straight away. You get to make really incredible changes for your clients that they're like hopefully really happy with and you get to meet loads of new people so I think it's such a fun and great way to practice um, medicine so Sol and I are about to leave now I am dressed I will show you my outfit in just a moment because I am really feeling today's work outfit I'm not gonna lie to you guys um, just so you know it is about 7 30 a.m. we have to be at our clinic in Harley Street at about 8.30 just to set up for our first client who is at nine. So I want to bring you guys along because I know a lot of you guys are interested. Can you hear Sol walking with her heels? I know a lot of you guys are interested in like the aesthetic side of things and how we work and also like just seeing what we get up to and what a doctor or a dentist in medicine and medical aesthetics gets up to so i thought it'd be a really fun vlog and i hope that you guys enjoy it if you want to see more content like this and more like work stuff please give this video a thumbs up now and don't forget to subscribe to me down below um and we will go ahead and get started with this vlog so my outfit of the day, I'm wearing this black leather blazer, it's from Zara, my top is also from Zara. My skirt is really old, the thing is from Forever 21, which is shut down now. And then my boots are my new Louboutin boots, which I'm so excited to wear for the first time. So I really like this outfit, I feel like it's very like bossy vibes and very smart, but also very me. So yeah, I'm really loving this little outfit. Obviously, when I get to the clinic, I'll tie my hair off and probably take off my jacket, but you guys get the idea. Oh, hello, Dr. Saw. Hello, sir. Are you excited for today? Oh my God, super excited. I'm just showing your outfit, so walk us through it. So I'm wearing a black Zara bodysuit. Oh my God, so am I, but yeah. white. <laughs> and then black Zara trousers and beige Louboutins. Lovely. Yes. So, are you excited for a day in the clinic? I'm super excited. I'm excited to have everyone back and, and just have a nice day together and working alongside you is always fun for me too. Oh, thank I you. I love your hair by the way. Oh, thank you. Um, the front of it's just parted weirdly. Yeah, I'm going to tie it back. Okay. Get in my way. <laughs> Let's go. Sol's come to get loads of food. Alright, Sol. Someone's hungry. I'm joking. That's fine. <laughs> but I am hungry. So Sol is just preparing for our fat dissolving injections. What are we doing this for, Sol? We're doing this for a, a double chin area. Like under our chin, sometimes we have a bit of stubborn fat and this helps to get rid. So it is 12.40. We have just finished a PRP. And we have, what do we have next? We have another Aqualix. We do. For, is it for the chin again? For the chin again. So um, we're just sorting that out. Um, obviously there's no one in here, that's why we have our masks off, by the way. Um, but yeah, I think we will have a gap after that to quickly grab something to eat. There's a prep downstairs. There's a, uh, so we're on Harley Street, and look at this view from our clinic, by the way. How beautiful is this? You can just see the square. So nice, and you can just see such a nice view. I love that. In terms of like equipment that we have here, we have like different like needles and stuff. So for drawing up, um, this is for injecting for PRP uh, and for Aqualix as well. There we go, more needles. Then we have some sanitization wipes, and then we have some syringes to draw up the medication. We have universal wipes, we have swabs, so 
and that's our centrifuge. And Sara is just doing some Botox now. And you said it's not that painful. No, no. There we go. <laughs> and you've had the Aqualix on your chin as well. You've had the fat dissolving injections just on your chin. Just pinching, that's it. Excellent. No, no pain at all. Good. Hello, look who came to see us in the lunch break. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Welcome. Thanks God, after a long time, after lockdown. Is yeah. I know. How do you like the space? You guys look so cute. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> you can't stay long. No, we are living. So <laughs> that? But we have work. They can't stay long. Okay. <laughs> we have the same as this one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's good. Mm -hmm. So it's almost 10 p.m. and I am literally outside my friend's house. Um, I went home after work and literally had like a 30 minute power nap and now I am going to one of my friends house she's having a few of us around in her garden and we just want to kind of chill out and have a nice evening I know I sound really tired I probably need to have a little red ball to pick me up um, and it is quite late but I did finish quite late with salt today so yeah it's um gonna be a nice kind of end to the evening and just chill out and stuff and i'm also really hungry because i've had breakfast and lunch and not dinner um so keep watching just a quick outfit of the day i'm going to my friend's birthday she's having a little gathering in her garden it's gonna be really nice so i'm wearing this blazer from pretty little thing this bodysuit is Zara. These jeans are from my H&M haul. I've had to tuck the bottom up because it's so long. And then these little wedges are from Boohoo. They are what I wore like literally all summer last year. Don't know why, I just feel like my hair looks really weird, like really like puffy and just, I don't know what it is. My hair never looks weird. Like my hair is the one thing I can count on to look fine in any situation. So I don't know what's going on guys, but um, if anyone knows, oh, maybe it's humid, I don't know. Also, hay fever season is upon us. Your girl is dying out here. I'm gonna go buy some antihistamines before I head and sit in a garden because I've run out. Um, yeah, I'm really suffering. Also, on my lips, I think I'm wearing Saw and Too Faced Taffy lipstick. So Saw is by MAC and it's a lip liner because I always get asked what lip liner I'm wearing and even me sometimes when I watch back my old vlogs as you do I'm like what lip liner was I wearing there it looks so good so it's a little memory tip for me and a little something for you so I've just come to Boots um because I need to meet some antihistamines look at this they've got a whole row for me that's my stuff <laughs> So a quick little outfit change and my mum, as per every vlog, I'm waiting for her to get in the car so we can go to Brent Cross. It's going to be my first time to go shopping since the lockdown has eased here in London. I don't even need anything. I just miss physically looking at items rather than constantly seeing them online, trying to guess what it will look like on me as opposed to the model. Oh, are you ready? Yes, of course. I am ready! <laughs> <laughs> so we just got to run cross and my mum is trying to tighten her mask. My, even mine's a bit loose here. I did too much. I have to do it a little bit less. It was too tight. Mm -mm -mm. That was better. Uh -uh. <laughs> so we've come for a mandatory Starbucks. My mum is naughty because what did you say you want to buy now? Cross -up. She wants to get a cross up. I'm not I having love one. Coffee with cross up. <laughs> so, not, I don't want so I'm gonna watch her have her cross on, but I'm just gonna have coffee alone. And e everywhere has a queue, and I'm really sad that everywhere that used to let you jump the queue when you had an NHS card doesn't let you jump jump the queue anymore, which is sad. Um, hopefully Zara will let us. I think Zara probably did. Yeah, we'll see. Are you happy? Now you've got your cross on. <laughs> How cute is this little bag in Zara? It looks very like Bottega vibes. I think it's so adorable. Mum, do you like this? Um, Let me see. So. I think it's cute. 
This section, however, is hideous. Hatman, it's very like childish clothes, Emma. Pretty bad, Chagunas. In print, it's really cute. Guys, I'm picking up a few things, so let me know if you want to see a haul, and I can film that. So I don't actually know how long you've been following me for, but um, let me tell you something. I am always in this jumper. I got it from Topshop back in the day, RIP. That makes me so sad by the way that Topshop shut down. It was literally like the coolest store to shop from when I was younger. Like every, if you're a cool girl, you were like shopping from um, Topshop. And then obviously if you're a cool like 18, 19 year old onwards that you were shopping from Zara. Um, but yeah, it's kind of a um, sad end of an era. Anyway, yeah, so sorry that I always wear this jumper in the halls. It's because it's my favorite. So I'm only going to show you my favorite piece from this haul because I think I'm going to film a spring summer Zara haul because I've got such cute pieces. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to show you my favorite piece, um, I think. But I obviously have to try it on and it is pink. It, I have like, a, I bought a lot of pink stuff in this um, little shopping spree that I went on, which by the way, was so nice to just shop in a store. Um, anyway, it is this pink bodysuit. It is like a short one, like as in the bottom of it is short, so it's not a skirt. Wait, that's called a play suit. There we go, play suit, not bodysuit. Um, and then it's like a pink tweed. How cool is that? Um, just so classy, like Coco Chanel vibes. And I was thinking, like, even if I wore this, like, on a night out, obviously I'd wear it like this, and I have pink Christian Louboutins that I would pair it with, um, and probably, like, curl my hair, and it'd be so cute. Um, I would probably wear this, like, a date night or something. Um, or just, like, dinner with the girls, etc. Or, if you, if weather gets better, I might even wear, like, a white long sleeve top underneath it, and I could wear it to clinic, depending on how short the shorts are i'd have to see the try on um but yeah that is the only sneak peek that i'm showing you guys from uh the zara stuff that i bought so make sure that you subscribe and comment down below to let me know if you want to see a zara horn i will show you everything else so that is the end of this video i really hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog i know it's like quite short and it's so different to everything else that i film but i just wanted to give you guys like a little bit of an insight of coming to work with me it's a different side to being a doctor i think working in aesthetics when people come in they're not in, in acutely like unwell um and it's more about doing things slowly to help um kind of enhance their features or build on something that they've felt insecure about um, and it's just so rewarding to kind of have people come in and feel so much better when they leave so yeah I just thought I'd show you a different branch of medicine that I really enjoy and I absolutely love aesthetics for any of you guys who want to know more about our clinic check it out on Instagram now it's Dr. S Aesthetics I'll have it across the screen and you can ask us any questions you want about any treatments in the direct message or you can click the contact button and send us a whatsapp and you can also check out my socials my instagram is persian bunny my snap is sepi samoy and my tiktok is persian underscore bunny i love you guys so much and i'll see you in my next video bye